Item number SCP-6501, Security Level 1, Containment Class Safe, Disruption Class Dark, Risk Class Notice. Special Containment Procedures The cemetery in which SCP-6501 is located must be closed for visitation between 12 and 6 a.m. daily. Guards are to patrol the perimeter at this time to prevent unauthorized entry into the cemetery. Description SCP-6501 is a luminescent humanoid spectral entity resembling and identified as the late Mon Woods. It is located at the Redwood Public Cemetery, Alabama, USA, above the grave of Mon Woods, who had died on October 1, 2009, following a traffic accident. SCP-6501 is unable to traverse or move away from the grave, a preliminary analysis conducted by the Department of Spectral Phenomena has determined that SCP-6501's existence may be associated with it being tethered to Mon's corpse after death. Efforts to exhume the body and attempts to sever this link have not been initiated due to the possibility of accidentally neutralizing the entity. SCP-6501 is only visible at approximately 2.50 a.m. to 3.10 a.m. daily and enters a comatose state at all other times. There has only been one known instance where SCP-6501 became fully conscious during the day. See Addendum C5012. Addendum C5011 Discovery and Interviews SCP-6501's ectoplasm signature was first detected roughly a day after the burial of Mon Woods, during routine patrols in the region to detect and contain anomalies with haste. Ectoplasm detectors indicated the presence of a Class II spectral entity. Note, the entity is likely sentient and or sapient, but still poses little threat to living individuals due to its lack of malevolence and limited ability to interact with the physical environment. Their existence is mainly dependent on external forces, but may also be the result of a negative emotional state. MTF Mu-13 Ghostbusters Note, a task force under the command of the Department of Spectral Phenomena. They specialize in the containment of spectral, incorporeal, and intangible entities in the field. Equipped with ectovision devices, was sent to investigate and attempt to interact with the detected entity. Their attempt was met with groans and lethargic comments from SCP-6501. Containment proceeded soon after. At 1.14 a.m. the following day, ectographical cameras set up to observe the entity indicated sudden activity. It was also visible without the use of ectographical equipment. Junior researcher Nora Reed was dispatched to interview the entity and has henceforth been put in charge of this duty. Interviewee SCP-6501 Interviewer Dr. Nora Reed Begin log Good morning, it seems you're awake. I'd like you to recall your name for me if you were previously alive and remember. Is it by any chance Martin Wood? Yes, that's me. Dr. Reed nods. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? SCP-6501 subtly glows a little brighter. I don't mind, no. Great, are you aware of how you got gestures towards SCP-6501? Like this. I think I died several days ago. Yes, I see. So, how are you feeling? Is there anything you're currently going through? Anything you could describe? I feel like I'm made down. Stuck here. I should have left, but I seem to remain. Hmm. I've heard that you've never been seen moving from that spot. Is there any reason why you're stuck here? I can't move. It's just too straining. Too tiring. It's as if an anchor has chained me down, holding me here like this. SCP-6501 looks down and gets dimmer. 
Is it something you believe to be out of your control or... I'm not sure which it is, but it's always taxing when I try. I just can't move. As it reaches 3.09 a.m., SCP-6501 gradually became translucent until it was eventually invisible. End log. Begin log. Hello again, Mon. Good morning, uh, you haven't told me your name. Ah, uh, yes, it's Nora Reeds. You can call me Nora. Greetings, Nora. <laughs> I have some more questions for you. Do you mind today? No, it's fine. You don't have to ask me. It's nice to talk to someone. Well, that's great. All right. Tell me a bit about what your life was like before your death. Was there anything notable about it? Anything you regret or look back to often? Or do you believe there's someone who doesn't like you enough to try and maybe curse you? I had a family. My beautiful little girl, Aries, and my... And Krista. I know it's a bit of a touchy subject. From what I gathered, you're divorced. You might tell me why. Once again, I apologize for bringing the personal matter up. I messed up badly. Alcohol, you know. She left. And that only made it worse for me. I miss her. If I could go back and change things, I would. I really would. Now the love of my life has grown to hate me. I'll never see my daughter grow up. And that's no one's fault but my own. But that's what we regret most, yes? SCP-6501 stays silent. It glows slightly dimmer. I'm very sorry, Mon. It was your no fault. You shouldn't stress about it. Uh, do you have any more questions? Um, only a couple more. Are you aware of any others in the same predicament as you? No, not really. I hope no one is. Hell, here I am. I can't be the only one, right? And you're not. Oh yes, it's almost time. I have to make this quick. Will I always be like this? Well, will I ever be released from this, you know? Of course you'll be, sooner or later. Everything ends, even if you die twice. Well, that's not really comforting, huh? <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention, your wife and daughter came to visit you. What? They came to visit you yesterday morning. I'm assuming you weren't awake then. They came to see me. I guess they still care about you? SCP-6501 remained silent for several seconds. Are you alright, Mon? I just need a moment. SCP-6501 vanishes as it reaches 3.05 a.m. End log. Addendum 65012. Notable incident. Following this interview, SCP-6501 appeared to be in a constant hypnogogic state. Hypnogogia is the experience of the transitional state from wakefulness to sleep of consciousness. As indicated with ectoplasmic cognition scans, despite the detrimental effects it could have on its well-being. On the next day, SCP-6501 is observed to be fully conscious outside the expected time period. At the time, Crystal and Eris Woods were visiting Martin Woods' grave. Due to this unexpected incident, a proposal to alter SCP-6501's object class to Euclid is currently pending approval by the Department of Spectral Phenomena. An ectographic camera installed nearby for monitoring purposes captured the following video footage which has been transcribed into a log below. Begin Log October 4th, October 4th, 2009, 1.43 p.m. Crystal Woods and Aries Woods approach the location of SCP-6501. Crystal, is that... Hello, Mon. 
I'm so happy to see you again. Krista sits and places flowers below SCP-6501. I miss me, Mon. I really do. It's been hard without you. I missed you too. I wish I could move from this spot and hug you. Ever since you left, I've started doing what you told me. I'm going back to college. I hope I can make you proud. Really, you did. I, I'm so proud. Congratulations. SCP-6501 stretches out towards Krista, but cannot reach her. Ah, uh, I can't reach you. Ah, uh, Aries, would you like to show Daddy what you made? I made a flower crown for you, Daddy. You love them, don't you? Aries places a crown of yellow flowers on the grave below SCP-6501. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful, sweetie. SCP-6501 attempts to grab the crown, but is unable to. Oh, well, it looks great, darling. I know it'll be great when I wear it, too. Thank you so much. Krista begins to cry. It's been hard without you, honey. But we're both trying our best. Roughly a minute of silence. Krista, I'm very sorry for everything. I didn't want it to be like this. And I should have done something about it. About us. I know it would be too late, but... Can you forgive me? Krista? Krista, Ares! SCP-6501 attempts to touch Ares, but fails. Why can't I touch you? Can you see me? No, oh no, this can't be right. This is a joke, right? You can see me, right? Krista stands up, oh, wiping her eyes. All right, let's go, Ares. You have to be strong for Daddy. He named you Ares, after all. Krista hugs Ares and kisses her forehead. No, no, please, no! Krista and Ares begin walking away. No! Please, please come back. Please don't go, Krista. Aries, please, no. Please, don't leave me. Not again. Please. SCP-6501 kneels and covers its face with its hands. It is visibly sobbing as its body grows dimmer. End log.